Hi everyone, how you doing? I hope you're doing well. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, I will be sharing with you my CD and vinyl collection. At the moment, I have a small collection of CDs and vinyls. However, I'm still growing my collection. I'm still always looking on Amazon, eBay, Etsy, or any vinyls that I am interested to buy. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So my first vinyl I have is the Sam Smith Thriller Bit Or vinyl. I love this vinyl, it's incredible. I love listening to Sam Smith. I think he has such a unique voice. Um, I would love to see him live, I haven't yet. I haven't had the opportunity to, unfortunately. However, when the opportunity arises, I would definitely get tickets and go to see him. And if you're watching and you have seen him live, then you are very, very lucky. So my favorite song on this album would have to be Baby You Make Me Crazy. There's not a reason behind it, just that it's a very upbeat and funky song. The next vinyl I have is the Greatest Showman vinyl. I actually have this um, on CD as well and on DVD. I actually bought them all together in Asda. Um, I think it is such an amazing film. It always gets me a little bit emotional when I watch it. And if you haven't seen this film already, I definitely do recommend you watch it um, if you are into musicals. So my favourite song on the film vinyl CD would probably have to be Come Alive. I think it's such an upbeat song. It's amazing. It always gets me in the mood whenever I have it on. There is also a reprise CD, which um, different celebrities did covers of the songs. And the reprised version of Come Alive is definitely a very good song to listen to as well. The next vinyl I have, I have quite a few, which are my Green Day vinyls. The first vinyl I have is American Idiot. Um, this was the first vinyl I actually got um, from Green Day. I got this from my parents, which thank you very much. Um, I've loved Green Day for about seven years now. Um, I never thought I would see them live, but obviously I have. Um, my favourite song on this album would probably have to be Holiday. I think it's such an amazing song. Again, it always gets me in the mood. Of course, all the songs on this album are my favourite, but if I had to choose one, it definitely would be Holiday. So the next Green Day album I have is Revolution Radio. I love the album cover on this. I think it is amazing. I, um, I think I will be getting a tattoo of this, actually. I do actually have a tattoo from Green Day, which I have here. This was the first tattoo I actually got. It didn't hurt, I thought it would, but it didn't. I was very nervous, but as soon as the needle touched my skin, I was fine. Um, if any of you don't know, this is actually the bunny that comes on at the start of a Green Day concert. Um, I'm not sure if anyone actually knows who's in the costume. If you're a Green Day fan like me and you've been to their concerts and you have any idea of who it might be, then please do let me know down in the comments. Some people think it's Trey. I'm not sure if it is, um, but you never know. So the next album I have is Green Day, Father of All, Mother. I'm not going to say it. Um, but if you are a fan of Green Day and you know this album, then you know what the word is. Um, this album actually came out quite recently. Um, some people that I've heard aren't actually a fan of this album. Um, me personally, it isn't their best album, but I think it's still amazing. My favourite, um, I don't actually have a favourite song off this album yet, I haven't listened to it too much. I'm still um, needing to actually play this on my record player, which is actually behind me. You can't see the chairs in the way. Um, I'm still needing to listen to this album. Um, but yeah, if you haven't listened to the album um, and you're a bit unsure about listening to it, I do recommend you listening to it. It's still a good album. Again, it's not one of their best, but it's Green Day and it's still very good. So the last Green Day vinyl I have, I wish I had more, but I'm still, of course, needing to, you know, make my collection bigger, is the Green Day Uno vinyl. Now, at the moment, this is my favourite album by Green Day. I think it is absolutely amazing. Excuse me. I got it off Amazon about four days ago, I believe. I've been looking for this album everywhere for about two years now whenever i would go into hmv i would always be looking around for it i would always go to a member of staff and ask do you have this in stock and they would say no and then i would say if you don't mind um can you check if you're like having it ordered in at all and they would always say no and i would always question why like any shop i'd go into they wouldn't have it which i thought was bizarre and i'm not sure why my first thought wasn't to go on Amazon and get it, which is where I got this off, if I didn't mention already. Um, but I do um, prefer going into a shop myself and looking around and buying it. Um, that's just my personal preference. So my favourite song on this album would have to be Kill the DJ. I think it's such an amazing song. Again, it always gets me in the mood. 
and as well of course all the songs on this album are my favorite and i absolutely love and again i'm still needing to play this vinyl i haven't played vinyls for about two days now because i've just been you know hooked on watching films but um when i write this on i apologize to my family members in advance it's going to be very very loud so i'm a huge fan of michael jackson I have been collecting a few um, books, DVDs and other things from him. I have a few things on the way in the post, which I'm very, very excited for. So if you're a fan of Michael Jackson like I am, and you would love to see a Michael Jackson collection video, then do let me know down in the comments and I'll be happy to film it for you guys. So the first vinyl I have is the limited edition Jackson's Enjoy Yourself. Now this is just a single. I love the song, I think it's so cool. Again, it always gets me in the groove. Um, I actually got this from a vinyl fair in Cheltenham, which I went with my mum. I can't remember how much it was, um, but as soon as I saw it, I was like, whenever I see limited edition, I'm instantly, yes, I'm getting it. You know, here's the money, give it to me, goodbye. Um, obviously not goodbye, that's rude. But um, I love going to vinyl fairs. This is the first vinyl fair that I actually did go to. I loved it. There were so many vinyls. I was like, some of them were quite expensive. But yeah, I'm very, very happy with this vinyl. I've played it about five times now. I probably will play it again later. But yeah, I'm very happy with it. So the next one I have is the Thriller vinyl. I love this album. It is amazing. If I had to choose a favourite song, I'd probably be here for hours on end. You know, every song on this album is amazing. Um, and yeah, I just love listening to the album. I think it's amazing. Um, at the moment, my favourite song on this album would have to be Human Nature. I'm not sure why, but Human Nature will always have a special place in my heart. Um, it always makes me a little bit emotional. But I definitely will be playing this vinyl later on because it is incredible. So the last um, vinyl I have, um, a big vinyl, shall I uh, mention quickly, is Bad. Now, oh, before I carry on, I actually did get this. This is my... I believe, oh my gosh, um, I believe this is my first vinyl that I ever got. I actually got this for Christmas about three years ago. Um, I was very excited when I received it. But this bad vinyl, I didn't actually buy myself. My uncle actually gave it to me um, in a whole bulk of vinyls that he gave me, which I'm very, very grateful for. So thank you. You probably won't be watching this, but if you are, thank you. Um, I love this album so so much. My favourite song on this album would have to be Dirty Diana. It is such a bop, such such a good song. Always gets me in the mood, always gets me, you know, doing a little boogie in my room because I wouldn't do it anywhere else in the house because my family would definitely make fun of me. Um, I actually do have, which is going on to my next vinyl, which is, a, this, these are my seven inch vinyls, is a Dirty Diana single. Um, this is second hand i got this from etsy um it was quite cheap um sort of like not cheap cheap but in the middle of like cheap and expensive if that makes sense i had to get this um because of course on vinyls you have to wait for the song to come on um i'm not impatient it's just um i have been listening to this so listening to this song constantly so i thought the single um vinyl would be a very good addition to my collection so yes um i did get this from my uncle um it does have a few marks on it but i'm not that bothered um but if i did want to buy another one that was like you know clean if i did want to frame it then i definitely would just buy another one so that's all my big vinyls that i have again i definitely will be getting more so the next um i have only have three more left unfortunately i wish i had more um and here is another Michael Jackson one. It is Heal the World. This song is incredible. It has such a strong, powerful and a beautiful message behind it. It always gets me emotional listening to it. If any of you are a Michael Jackson fan, again, like me, and you listen to this song and you get emotional, then I'm glad I'm not the only one. This, I actually get this again from the vinyl fair where I got the Enjoy Yourself Jackson 5 one. And this does have a special poster bag edition, as you can see there. So yes, this does have a poster in it. I haven't um, put it on my wall yet. I still need to sort of work out, you know, what like, dimensions it is so I can get a frame for it. I don't really like putting posters on my room that, you know, you put blue tack on. Cause like just personally, I think it looks tacky and I like things being neat and like looking nice in my room. So I definitely will soon be getting a frame for this and putting it up. Um, 
so yeah that is the last michael jackson vinyl i have unfortunately i actually do have one on the way which again i got from etsy which is the same person that i got the dirty diana, dirty diana one sorry from and I hopefully it'll be arriving in the next few days so the next one i have is sam smith writing on the wall from the bond film spectre i love the bond films i'm so excited for the next one to come out i'm not sure when it is going to be coming out obviously they had to stop filming because of the situation with covid19 um but either way i'm excited for it to come out i definitely will be seeing it in cinema and of course getting it on dvd when it comes out i don't actually have any bomb films on dvd but i definitely do think i will be getting some soon um but i again um with the bond films i love all the theme songs on it of course um writings on the wall um that's why i've got the vinyl if you haven't already listened to billy eilish's theme song no time to die from the new bond film and you are a billy eilish fan then i definitely do recommend you listen to it it is amazing and the last final i have is stock on you by lionel richie um this again came with the bulk of vinyls that my uncle um gave me again which i'm very very grateful for um i did play this on repeat for about two days straight i was obsessed with it um it is a very very good song if you haven't listened to it already then again i do recommend you listen to it so i will be going on to my cd the last one i have is of course american idiot i actually have the sticker on this one still which i do need to take off if I'm not sure if anyone else has a problem with taking the stickers off, but I get the reason why I don't anymore is because it always leaves like a sticky residue and I can't deal with it, it's really annoying. So I have a Green Day warning, I love this album, of course it's one of their older albums. My favourite song on this album would have to be Warning, which is obviously the name of the album. I think it's such a good song, again, any song by Green Day I love. The next one I have is Green Day Awesome as, you know the word, I'm not sure why I did that. <laughs> But um, that is the tattoo that I actually have. I can't really, I don't really want to move my phone because I have it set up so it doesn't fall over. But um, this is actually a um, like DVD. So it's like a live, you know, show of them playing songs, I believe in Japan. Let me have a quick look. Um, yeah, so bonus DVD. Sorry, excuse me. Um, brand new explosive tokyo performance so yes it is a live video of them the next one i have is green day bullet in a bible i'm not sure if you can see but yeah here this one i peeled off a sticker it always leaves a sticky residue which is very very annoying but um i love this album i think i actually think this was the first oh my gosh why is it stuck okay this is the first green day um cd that i actually got um again i can't really choose a favorite song on this because it's all songs i love so the next ones i'll be going on to is the uno dos tray i don't actually have the tray cd but it is on the way in the post i got it off amazon a few days ago um with the i don't know how to say it it's number four in spanish i'm not going to say in case i say it wrong and i don't want to embarrass myself on camera which would be really really funny i know for some people but for me i'm not going to make a fool of myself which i probably already have in this video but you know hey ho life goes on so the first one again is uno in cd i know that when i was saying about the uno vinyl that um, i was struggling to find it and like you know you could just listen to it on cd but again vinyls have such a different vibe to listening to music than you would if you were listening to songs on you know phone laptop or on cd so very happy with that and then i of course have dos my favorite song on this album would have to be make out party i think it's such a good song again it always gets me in the mood it's such an upbeat and loud song so whenever i play it i do actually want to get this on vinyl but it is quite pricey um i'm still looking to see if it's um if i can find it cheaper Last screen day cd i have is 21st century breakdown again i love this album i love the artwork on the back i think it's absolutely gorgeous um, my favourite song on this album would have to be Know Your Enemy. That is the first song that they played. Um, I know it was the first song that they played in Hyde Park, I think. Again, it's all a blur because I was just in awe of the whole experience. I thought it was absolutely amazing. Um, if you're a Green Day fan like me and you would love to um, hear me talk about my Green Day concert experience, then do leave a comment down below. I'd be very happy to go through it. Last but not least, I'll be going through my Green Day DVDs. I actually haven't played these a lot because I have just too many DVDs. Um, one day I do need to actually go through all of these in bulk and watch them. 
So the first one I have is the Green Day Phenomenon. I haven't actually watched this yet. The only one I've actually watched um, is the American Idiot one. But um, this is just a ultimate independent critical review of the musical Green Day on stage, on film and on record. I got this from in my town centre called That's Entertainment, which is no, no longer there anymore, which I'm very annoyed about because whoever likes collecting DVDs and CDs and it's very difficult to now collect because you know everything's on you know TV but for me I love just being able to go into a shop have a look around and just buy DVDs and CDs and play them when I get home I think it has such a different feel as you would with you know just whacking on a film on your telly normally um, if you like collecting DVDs and watching them then hopefully you know what I mean so the next one I have like I just mentioned is the American Idiot one which is the only one I've watched so far I love this DVD I think it's incredible such a good watch the next one i have is green day the pogo paradise again i haven't watched this yet next one i have is green day international super video i have actually watched this i love this dvd i think it's amazing it has such good songs on it and the last one i have is the interactive music challenge on dvd independent fully interactive dvd music game oh didn't actually read that one i got it oh, green day edition it is a i don't know how you'd say holographic angle clue um, if I can get it out, oh no, it's that way. <laughs> Clean up with it. So yes, this includes previously unreleased concert footage, footage, sorry, an independent review plus an interactive Green Day music challenge game. I haven't actually watched this yet. Um, I am meaning to again, like I said before, I showed you these DVDs. I definitely do need to watch them in bulk. Um, so yeah, and that is my cd vinyl and dvd collection i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up make sure to comment down below um any video ideas you would like to see for example the concert uh, concert experience which again like i said before i would be very very happy to share it with you guys um i hope you guys are staying safe and healthy during this time if anyone needs any support or advice then my instagram is always open to anyone who needs some support but um yeah i hope you enjoyed watching this video and i'll see you in the next one bye